Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Shayna if you are new here, but if you are not, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing Christmas slash like holiday slash New Year's Eve, a makeup look um, and showing you guys like a really festive look with a red lip, but I'll also maybe do a second lip combo to show you guys what I would do with like a nude lip because I know not everybody likes a red lip and sometimes that could be a little bit too bold or too out there for other people. Sorry if I sound stuffy in advance. One side of my nose is a little bit stuffed. There was something in the air at work and I definitely caught something. People haven't also been like covering their mouths and stuff like that. So, you know, it's just that time of the year where people get sick, unfortunately, and I don't have a cold or anything. I just have like a stuffy nose on one side, but I can still taste and smell. Um, so hopefully that goes away in a few days. I've been doing a lot of like natural remedies and stuff and drinking tea and soup and stuff. So hopefully that goes away, but just excuse me for sounding so nasally in advance. So I've already prepped and primed my skin with moisturizer. I'm gonna now go in with some eye cream. That was the last part of my skincare that I didn't get to do, but I just think that it's so essential. And I use the caffeine eye cream from the Inky List. You guys can find this on Sephora for about $10, I believe. And I've used this, I think this is like my second or third bottle. And I also have a backup tube as well of this. And I just gently blend this in with my ring finger to essentially get the product all up in there. And it has caffeine in here. And I believe hyaluronic acid has a lot of good benefits in it. And it's really affordable, especially for being at Sephora. Um, you can also find the Inky List, I'm starting to notice, at TJ Maxx and Marshalls, which is surprising. So I'm not sure if the brand um, is like going out of business or something like that. But they still sell it at Sephora, but they do sell them at other retailers as well. And I'm pretty much just going to blend this into my under eyes very, very gently. You don't want to be rough or tug under your eyes it's such a sensitive area obviously i do put a little bit on my lid just to even out the top portion of my eyes and i'm just gonna let this sit probably for about five to ten minutes because i like my products to really sink into my skin so that way my makeup sits better the next step we're gonna move into is doing the brows so i am gonna be using the wet n wild brow obsessive um pencil I believe I bought this at like Walmart or something like that. I really can't remember and my brows need to be done a little bit, but I am like trying to grow them out right now. So they look a little bushy, but I am trying to just brush them out as best as I can and making them look as clean as possible. I probably will be putting concealer on them too, just to, you know, situate them. Um, and essentially I'm just gonna go in with the pencil and fill my brows in and I'll come back on camera when I'm done. So now that I have cleaned up my brows and filled them in, I've also added some concealer underneath them and put some eyebrow gel in there that's like a blondish shade to conceal them and change the color. And I also put concealer on my lid to cancel out any veininess or darkness. So now I'm gonna start with eyeshadow. So I'm gonna go in with the She Glam palette. It is the vinyl pop color palette in Color Me Crazy. And I'm just going to use, first off, bronzer in my crease. So I'm just using a Juvia's Place brush. It is the, it doesn't even have a number, but I guess it was from one of their collections. It's from a few years ago. Like not all my brushes are the newest brushes, but it is a pointed brush that's kind of domed. And it's a like a domed blending brush. So I'm just putting that right into the crease, very lightly blending it to give a nice transition shade to work with the rest of the eyeshadows because I'm gonna be working with a purple shade and a pink shade and some shimmer. So I want it to really stand out. Just adding some contrast to the lid. And you can see it makes such a difference. It adds this really nice warmth to the eye. I'm using the Laura Mercier bronzer, by the way, if you wanted to know what bronzer I was using, just to put this color in the crease. Obviously, use whatever you have. I use bronzer sometimes and other times I use eyeshadow. It honestly just depends on my mood, how lazy I am with not wanting to do eyeshadow um, and like how much time I have because if I'm in a rush, I'm not really gonna be doing a whole eyeshadow look. I'll probably just pop bronzer in my lid and maybe some shimmery colors in my inner corner just to give it a little bit of pop and some mascara, sometimes liner, but um, right now I just wanna give it a little bit of warmth as you can see and that is how it is looking. 
So next, I'm going to go in with that same dome brush after I've cleaned it off. And I'm going to go in with this lavender shade right here. It's coming up more pink on camera, but it's really a really pretty lavender shade. And I'm just going to dust that lightly all over the lids. That way, it kind of goes with the pink sweater that I'm wearing today. I thought it was just so cute without doing too much. I'm just sweeping that across the lid just to give it a light wash of color. I'm gonna do that to the other eye now. I'm just going to give it a wash of color. These colors are really pigmented from this palette. And that's one thing I love about She Glam is their palettes are super, super pigmented. <laughs> Much more than you would think they would be. But they really are really, really pigmented. And um, for the price and stuff like that, and you get so many eyeshadows, I think it's so worth it. Their eyeshadows and their makeup in general, I always rave about it. Um, even though it's not sponsored, but I just genuinely love the company. I would love to work with them one day. I do like a whole face for you guys for them, but that is how the lavender is looking on the eyes. And so now that I put the orange in the crease, I'm going to go ahead and put some mascara on, and then I'll come right back on camera and show you guys the completed eye look. So the next step is the Voluminous Butterfly Mascara. You guys have probably seen this, and this is from L'Oreal, and I'm just using it in the shade Black is Black, and like I said, I'll come back on camera. I just wanted to show you guys what I was using. So now that I've done the mascara, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the skin. I'm gonna go in with a primer first. So I'm gonna go in with the Freck Primer, and this is the Rich Bitch Protect and Prime Serum, Serum Base and Protection from Freck. And this little bottle like this and I don't take a lot I just take a little bit because it's really really sticky um and it kind of when you go squeeze it directly onto the face it definitely goes everywhere like a spider web <laughs> so when I have it I just try to go section by section um it's a little bit of like a watery consistency so it's you know kind of like a serum basically so I try to go section by section and that's what I feel works best for this product is going section by section and really going in all the nooks and crannies um, under your skin and stuff like that and really working it in the product into your skin. I find works best for me because I have drier skin so Hope you guys are enjoying all these lovely faces I'm making for you <laughs> while I apply my primer. But yeah, once I put this on, I'm gonna essentially let it sit for like maybe five to ten minutes because it is like a serum but a little bit thicker. And so I really do want to give it enough time to really sit into my pores and really work itself into the skin. And I just pat any excess that I might have or whatever, just to really get that into the skin. And then I'll come back on camera when the primer is done settling into my skin. So now that the primer has sat in my skin, I'm gonna go in with the Sculpt Tape from Tarte in the color Double Duty Beauty Warm Bronze. So I've actually really been enjoying this. And I just use the smallest amount, just in the areas where I want a little bit of contour, like right in my hollows of my cheekbones, right on my temples. And I put a little bit on my forehead, of course, to make it a little bit smaller. I also go a little bit on the nose just to make it a little tan and it looks crazier than it actually is. I put a little bit on my chin but it blends out really really smooth. You don't need a lot. That's why I love this product and now I'm just going to go in with my beauty sponge and I'm going to blend this in just gently. I'm using a really small sponge which is good because it really is going to target these areas down here. The product, this product is definitely not super quick drying, but it's definitely not a product where you want to sit there for 30 minutes and forget that you have it on your face. You definitely want to blend it in while it's, you know, a few minutes after you've put it on your face. Then it's definitely a little bit orangey, I would say, but once I put bronzer and stuff like that and powder and blush and all that stuff, you can hardly tell. It definitely just makes me really, really tan, which I don't mind because I'm so pale right now in the winter time that it's fine for me. I don't mind 
but I would definitely prefer it a, li a little bit cooler. Um, but this shade is good too. I really try to blend that in into my hairline. I feel like that's what really helps it not to look so orangey is to blend it into my hairline. Because if I just blend it like right where it is, it will leave a weird mark of demarcation and that's like what you don't want i don't want to look like i have a wig on or something like that you know so. i was really working that into my scalp as you can see it just really brightens my face up and gives it a really really nice a nice bronzy glow like I just was at the beach or something it really just gives like a sun-kissed finish nothing too crazy then I go in and blend the nose I try to like I said move fairly quickly with this product So for concealer, I'm going to be going into this Essentially Ageless by Be Pure Hydrating Serum Concealer. And I don't believe there's a shade. It's just like whatever they have available is from Dollar Tree. But surprisingly very good. I wanted to try it. It's definitely really good if you have like dry skin, whatever. It's really great for that. Um, and it's actually very thick, which is different than I was expecting. It's very pigmented as well, and it has hyaluronic acid in it, so don't sleep on your local Dollar Tree um, for some makeup products. I'm just gonna lightly blend that out. with the same concealer under my eyes and just put a little bit seems like it's a lot but it's not because when I blend this out it definitely um, blends out really really smooth and I like to let it sit for at least 30 to 60 seconds just to basically let it dry down a little bit so it's not moving all over the place because it does have hyaluronic acid in it so I mean it is gonna be a little a little dewier so I'm not using such a matte um, concealer. But as you can see, it really does brighten the skin. It's very, very nice. I think they had this actually in a few different shades too. They have it in like medium. I got the lightest shade, obviously. And see how much it brightens. It brightens so much, you guys. It's such a good way. Without doing it. Look at the difference. It's such a good difference. I'm gonna do the other eye off camera and I'll be right back. So now that we're done with concealer, I'm gonna go in with liquid blush. I'm gonna go with the Profusion Cosmetics Blush Hour Soft Matte Liquid Blush in the color Cosmo. And this is like what I've been one of my go-tos since I bought it back in like September or October. And I just take like two dots on each side because this is really pigmented. And you don't wanna let it sit too long on the skin either. I know this is about this product. And then I'm just gonna go in and get this baby on my cheeks i really bit into liquid blushes a lot lately like that's been my thing going into the end of the year since the summertime and this was only like 4.99 at walmart so you can't go wrong and there's so many brands who make liquid blushes now it's everywhere i mean they've been for a while for some years but i mean the trend definitely came back in from like the rare beauty blush and stuff like that and then every brand just bandwagoned after that but i remember my first liquid blush that i ever bought was from milani and it was this like soft brown shade i still have it by the way and it's very very sheer almost like a water tint color and i bought it probably like over four years ago like it was a long time ago and um i remember seeing it online on youtube and i wanted to try it so i'm definitely a liquid blush girly so now that we're done with liquid blush i'm gonna go in with some powder bronzer and i'm gonna go with the laura mercier powder bronzer the same one that i used earlier 
to fill in my crease and it's just my go-to bronzer i'm just putting a little bit on the areas that i want to you know make them look warm and bring back some life into my face after i put like concealer and stuff like that i've really been into the like no foundation look lately i just do a lot of other steps like i do a very full coverage concealer and i do all the other steps because it really allows my skin to breathe and i do have like acne prone combination skin and sometimes i just don't want the heavy products on my face of doing like a you know completely full face so doing this type of face now for the longest since like the summertime maybe a little before then really has helped me to have a good relationship with makeup and feel good when i'm wearing it as well because no one wants to have a super heavy face of makeup on if you guys see me looking down i'm just looking into my handheld mirror but yeah that is my stance on makeup right now of course there's times where like I will do like foundation and stuff like don't get me wrong i'll do a skin tint stuff like that but i just kind of stray away from it at this point because of my skin and stuff like that and i want it to be as clear as possible i want to feel like it's light i don't want to feel like i have a heavy mask on me especially if i'm going out at night um or especially during the day it is cold now so you don't want your face to feel extra super tight and like dry so i definitely um don't do like a full full full, full face as you guys can see now um if you were wondering why i didn't do foundation so now i'm gonna be going in with a little bit of the laura mercier loose powder loose setting powder just in the translucent shade and i'm just gonna put a little bit under my eyes to set the concealer and a little bit underneath where I place the contour to just set that really nicely. And I'm just gonna let it probably sit and bake for like, maybe like a minute or two. I'm not a person who usually bakes, but I am going out tonight after doing this makeup with some family for the holidays. So I do want it to last. So now we're moving on to blush. I'm going to be going in with the Gwen Stefani blush in um, Ex-Girlfriend. It's the Fill and Cheeky Amplifying Blush Duo. And it looks like this. And it's really, really cute. Comes with a mirror. And I have to say, it has a really, really pretty, like almost like baby powder smell to it with a little bit of a floral smell. And it's very, very nice. So I'm just going to add this color onto my cheeks. And I am very, very, very light-handed with this product because it is like super, super pigmented and I've done too much before the last couple of times. So definitely if you have this product, you know this product is pigmented. <laughs> so I just want a little wash of color and then I'm gonna put the topper that it comes with that is like a shimmery topper. Just gonna apply that to the skin just to add a little bit. more to the blush a little on my nose and then that's it just give you that glowing from within look so for the lip combo i'm going to be going with this ioni shea butter lipstick in sparkle red and this is from the dollar store um i've talked about this brand many times before i'm not doing any lip liner i'm just going to go straight in with it and see how pigmented it is ah it's a really really pigmented wow This is like a very sparkly, I don't know if you can see that, very sparkly red. I thought this was just chapstick, but girl, this is a full blown red lipstick. So this is one lip combo because obviously I wanted to do something super festive for Christmas or New Year's in case, you know, you're a person who loves red. I personally like red too, but I don't know how I feel about this with the whole look. So I'm going to try a second lip off camera and come back on with it. I'm going to do more of my everyday like brown liner nude lip combo because this is really, really cute and super pigmented. But definitely not something that i would wear with this look i think i'd have to tone the eyes down to do red lips so i've actually decided that i'm gonna keep the lip on 
and I actually decided to pat it down with a tissue before I was taking it off and this is the lip color that I ended up with which is a really pretty muted pink color and as you can see my lips look still nice and full and festive but more on the pink side and it took away a lot of the shimmer and the glitter which is what I didn't really like too much but this is the final makeup look my hair looks crazy so you have to excuse me but besides the hair this is the final makeup look and I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you guys got an idea of how to you know it's the tips of how to do festive makeup for either the holidays for Christmas or for you know a a party at your job um, like an office party or you know even New Year's um, I think I will be doing a separate New Year's Eve look um, just because I like to do something more smokier and more glitzy and glam in the eyes and hair and stuff like that um, but I will see you guys in my next video I love you guys so much Bye.